Hey, welcome back. You see? Our producer is just not here. Oh. I don't know where she is. Two of you. Will she be joining us? Though? I hope so. Okay. Mm -hmm. joining us? Yeah, she's on the way. On the way. Okay, she's on the way. By the way, we have um, a person roving with a microphone, so um, please feel free to make use of it so that you can hear better. So, hello, how are you? Is it, oh, here's your microphone. Oh. First time in Singapore for both of you? First time. First time. What do you think of it so far? Have you seen anything outside of the hotel? Uh, not really. Well, I, I know <laughs> I went to Little India and the, um, the night before I felt me. What do you think about it? Uh, it was unique. Any of the, the antelope stop the tram or something? Oh, uh, no, but uh, I know we, we saw the flying squirrel. So. Nice. Um, I'm not sure if we're waiting for the producer before we begin. Maybe we can just start anyway. So, um, Dennis, maybe you could share with us yeah. what this movie is all about. Uh, the movie is an absurdist comedy. Uh, it's about a young boy, 10-year-old boy, who's mm. played by Jason here, named Henry, and he's a test tube baby. And he goes at the age of 10 to search out his biological father. And when that search happens, then pretty much everything. all hell breaks loose. Can I say hell? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. all hell breaks loose. And um, at the end of the movie, uh, they learn what it means to be a family. So. Okay. Now, this is based on your thesis, uh, short film for Columbia University's NFA film program, and you won a student kind of reward for that as well. Right. Um, what, were, were there any challenges in translating this into a feature film? Well, when they made the short film, um, it was supposed to be a one-off. And by that I mean I wasn't going to turn this into a feature film. But because the short film did so well, um, I had producers and agents and managers who wanted to see the feature version of the short. And so I didn't have a script. I hadn't written it. Um, so I kind of just locked myself up for two weeks. So I just wrote the basic script, and that was pretty much it. Was there any pressure, though? I mean, the short, was there any pressure, though? Because the first, I mean, the short one won so many awards. Did you feel like, oh my God, how do I, how do I you know, all the pressure of making this into a hit? No, nah, not really. I mean, pressure is pressure, but um, you know, awards are, you know, awards are very nice to win and, and all of that, but at the same time, you know, there is no pressure. So it's a completely different animal with doing a short film and, and doing a feature. You know, uh, uh, doing a feature is so much harder <laughs> in so many ways. So Jason, talk about pressure. How has it been to work with uh, Tony Collette and Michael Sheen, two very big names? Oh, well, you know what? Um, it was it was a learning experience. Um, in uh, just the, the whole uh, shoot itself was a cause of uh, uh, a happy set, and um, you know what? I I learned from uh, everyone there, and um, it was good. Any funny moments that interacted with Susan? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I know uh, we we shot a food fight. <laughs> And um, I know just just before we were about to shoot, the fire alarm went off, and then um, but that that got delayed. But um, in the end, it was fun. It was a really really fun shoot. I yeah. I mean, it was a 23 day shoot, mm -hmm. so things went very quickly. Um, but we had a great time. And why is it called Jesus Can We Christ? The movie. Oh, because you can't forget the title. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Jesus Henry Christ because we have, you know, the modern day immaculate conception, I suppose. We have the virgin mother who has a son, you know, but has a son through uh, in vitro fertilization, you know, and he goes in search of his father. Um, so it's, it's just basically like a metaphor or I guess a Christ parable in a way. Um, but more than that, I just think it's a fun title. When you say Jesus Henry Christ, nobody's going to forget the title. True. That's true. Let's open up to uh, the members of the media. Any questions? Yes. Oh, there, there's a lady with a mic, just in case. Hello, lady with mic. Anybody? Just stick your hand up high. Well, it's so. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, you've got a very big name, um, executive producer. 
Um, yeah, I think this is a testament to Dennis's writing because I think everything for a producer, everything starts with a screenplay, and the script and the characters are so great, and they responded to it, and, and stars, you know, major caliber actors respond to a character that is in a fun way, and so we couldn't necessarily afford them, but they love the character so much, they want to be a part of the film. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, first meeting with um, your half sister, uh, played by Samantha. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that first scene with her? <laughs> um, well, let's see. Um, you know what? Uh, it, was, it was interesting, but it's it's kind of strange to have a director help you through a uh, kiss on screen. It was his first kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, you know what, uh, uh, again, I, mean, I was able to uh, befriend the whole cast, so uh, it was great. <laughs> it was great. It was great. It was great. Yeah. Any other questions?